Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It's episode 34. Let us not waste time. Let's squeeze another two reputation out of this planet and then go somewhere else. And hopefully find some challenge. Ah, oh, just being stuck at one and a half skull is... Ah. Oh. I know I've done the reputation rant to death, but still. Even just focusing on one faction and just being like, okay, I'm just going to get one faction up and I'm going to hang around in their territory. You know, it, it, it evolves grinding your way through like 20 contracts. I know some people think like, well, why don't you just do contracts just for uh, just for reputation? But the issue is, is that giving up the contract rewards for reputation maybe nets you one extra point of reputation. Command interface initiated. And all the while, you know, you do need money to run your company. opportunity. Allied Hollander. And an Allied Firestar. What do we got? A Jenner Type C. Receiving you. On my way, double time. Targeting for an Alpha Strike. What do you need? Well, despite not doing any damage, at least I unsettled him. Ready, Commander. Bravo. What's up, boss? Acknowledged. I'm here. Hopefully he comes Waiting to the edge opening. where I can get to him. Honestly, my two allies could win this fight. I'm not even joking. I would bet on the Hollander over a... Uh, over this Jenner Type C. And this Hollander's heavy PPC is disabled, but even if it wasn't, I would bet on a Firestarter over a Hollander in a straight up fight. Standing by. What's up, boss? No shooting, just running. I'll jump you out there in a minute. Sensors locked on. Orders? On my way. Shot him. Firing all weapons.
reporting critical hits. All right, already the Jenner is in a world of hurt. Standing by. It's going full throttle. Eleven percent. Uh, oh god, it's even worse here. Roger. Ready, Commander. Actually landed some hits. Bravo. Sending a message. Orders. Yeah. Roger. Okay. Reserving action. Oh, missed with his main weapon. I'm receiving you. Locked on target. Ah. Uh. Ouch. Yeah, my money's on the fire star. <laughs> Kill him. Dealt a heavy hit there. Yes, Commander. Firing all weapons. Aim for the general because I'm good got to go. People in good positions to go after him. A loss of ten percent accuracy for the standard SRM. It's not bad actually. Firm. Waiting for orders. Copy that. I copy. Nice hits. Damn. That was well above expected. Ready for orders. Roger that. Man, Loaded King had a nice clean shot there. Give him everything you've got. Target prediction on why not? Copy that. Ready, Commander. Come on, hurry. Die. Oh, 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 out. Leak watch over. Nice. That's it. It's over. The Jenner's dead. He's he's bleeding to death. It's, it's finished. Waiting for orders. Target confirmed. Solid connection on that one. Oof. Mission successful. Okay, well that was nice and quick and easy. Good.
Alright, not bad. Walked away from that with a complete mech in my pocket. Right, the last one's an escort, and I'm not doing it. It's just, it takes ages. Escorts always take forever. So. Let's go ahead and get back in the air. Twenty five days to go to the planet next door. Okay, if we go here, then we can dramatically reduce the cost of travel. Just thinking about flashpoints. Not to get the rewards, but flashpoints to get the um, get the reputation bonus. Say so. Alright, where are we going next? Alright, I'll get the team on it right away. Speed up movement, I guess. see the contracts here. Oh, you'll let me do a three skull? Oh, it's escort though. A high tonnage Nova Cat lance. Nova Cat. Oh man, if only these were for, uh, ah, uh, if only they were for the correct. If only I could gain reputation doing that. Mm. 
Ah, it's a little bit unfortunate. It does seem to show, though, that Fed Sons will let me do up to three skull, which is not unreasonable, actually. I wouldn't mind doing three skulls or two and a half. No contracts available. Maybe let's go to Skull. Maybe two and a half Skull would be okay. There's a cluster of two Skulls here. By your command. Battles against Novacat will uh, be great opportunities to pick up state-of-the-art weapons. This is where I just was. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Let's just stop here. When's the next financial report? Three days. Calculating course now, Commander. Oh, watch me get there and all the contracts will change right in my face. Got the financial report. Waypoint reached, Commander. Oh, it's regenerating them. No. Oh. No, it looks like the same ones, or more or less the same ones. Okay. We got a mission against mercenaries, which is great because that's free reputation as well. We got a mission against the local pirate organization, which is not ideal, but hey. One against Outworld Alliance, whoever the hell they are, and the word of Blake. Oh, it's attack and defend. I probably won't be doing that. That will just go on. Attack and defend in a city is almost impossible to win because the buildings are too exposed and easily destroyed. You, I mean, you'll fight the fight and you'll kill a load of enemies and you'll probably get half the reward for completing objectives for killing enemies, but normally in attack and defend in, in cities where the enemy spawns, they immediately have a shot on your base. Okay. Let's start with this one, shall we? Let's forget. Let's forget cold hard cash. We are uh, we're built, we're in the mech building business now.
We are in the mech building business now. Let's see if we can pick up some mediums and heavies. And who knows? You no, know, I get into some properly hard missions. This should be a straight up battle, it shouldn't be too hard at all, but we'll see. It'll be nice to fight against heavies and assaults and, you know, slower mechs that are actually easier to hit. Command interface Not that the AI does a good job of keeping its evasion high, but hey. Who the hell are these idiots? Well, a 20 ton mech is not going to do anything to me unless it's walking around with a nuclear bomb reserving action that sounds like many units moving in the background ie there's going to be a second lance It's turkey. Christmas has come early. Ooh. If I could build this, I could get the UAC-5. Obviously, it's already destroyed on this mech, but if I get the parts and build it, that would be a nice weapon to pick up. For my, uh, I want to say Vindicator. Waiting for orders. Receiving you. Good to go. LRMs have got less chance to hit from long range than they do from short range. Feel the Loader the King. Bot. On my way. He's just loads of fun. Locking in all weapon systems. Ooh, engine crit. I think I hit something good. Are you packing an XL engine? Oh dear. Ready, Commander. We all know. How much I love XL engines. Bravo. Sending a message. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh man. Yep. Just beat that Ready guy like order. the loot pinata he was. Standing by. On my way. Double time. They will be done. Excel engines, man. You just make the game so easy. Oh, 
Killing mechs with XL engines is so easy, I'm already bored of it. <laughs> Hashtag flay. I await your command. Holding. What do you need? Oh, I need two evasion. Still enough to stop me doing real damage. Commander. Ready for orders. Receiving you. Orders? Yes, Commander. Ready, Commander. Movie, Commander. Not quite fast enough. Engaging primary target. I definitely hear tanks moving around the background, so there must be another lance out Good there. To go. And also, none of these mechs are moving, and if there weren't more enemies on the map, they would be forced to move. Nice. Got back in crit. Either his CT is open, or he's XL. Oh, he's XL. Waiting for orders. Wow, that's a uh, that's unfortunate. Move order received. Roger. <laughs> One left target. It didn't even matter that he had case, because he still lost the section with the XL engine in, which took out the whole mech. Ooh, excuse me. Ah, oh, the pollen is here. I'm here. Where's the, the this this dude here has got bat. Roger that. Locking on. Ugh. So whatever he is, he ain't that tough. No joy. What's up, boss? Contacts inbound. Oh, what a not surprise. Still, we're here for salvage, so uh, more mix means more salvage. And I wouldn't say what we've seen here is particularly that interesting. Some spicy hits. My armor's melting off. Well, he's got an XL engine. So we know how this Waiting ends. For orders. 
Roger that. Targeting physical attack. Make sure to not show our backs to uh, whatever is over there. Orders? Engaging! That hit something good. There he is, the leg's nearly gone. I'm here. When the leg goes, the side will follow. Copy that. Scored a critical hit. Oh yeah, that's bad news for him. Standing by. Roger. Full speed. Affirmative. Nice. That hit. Fifty tons and get wrecked. In fact, he's only got one HP left, so the loss of anything now Orders. will be fatal. Ready, Commander. Wow, he's in the dirt. I can finish him off later. Yep. Start the Loader King on its journey Commander. towards the enemy. Going full throttle. Firing on target. And he's done. Go time. Hostile eliminated. Only one salvageable part. Standing by. What do we got? A spider, a phoenix hawk, with an XL engine. Copy that. That's just how I like to no say reason. hello. Orders. Roger. Taking the shot. Unlucky. Missed. I want to kill this hornet and blind them. Oh, he missed the melee. Something that's usually rare. Ready, Commander. Moving, Commander. Take this. Eat first. No, it's just take this, but anyway. Alright, he's dead. Delta heavy hit there. Quite the jump. Okay, I'll be now. Right we hope here. that someone gets close enough to the loader king. Someone comes nice and close to it. Minimal damage on that hit. An Omni Firestarter, sweet. And another delicious piece of clan technology.
once again with an XL engine. Post clan invasion in a sphere technology, if you want to be really accurate. Yes, Commander. Receiving you. Aye, aye. Ready for orders. Sadly, they're all too far away. Going full throttle. Too far away to receive the Loader King's disapproval. Taking the shot. Still, I might be able to good to go. Pile some damage into the Phoenix Hawk. Maybe even kill it. I caught it. It's in a relatively Commander? weak position. May I interest you in some melting armor? Nice. One more hit like that and he's done. As the XL engine by. rears its ugly head. Affirmative. No clean shot. Standing by. Acknowledged. Hot damn, let's do this. Ready, Commander. Commander. Holding, Commander. Let's go. Let's go exterminate us on this light. Acknowledge. Oh, and Hell the yeah. engine is gone. Target neutralized. Gross. Wow, four parts. I got the whole thing. And Owens. <laughs> Oops. Holding for the right opportunity. Perhaps that uh, post clan invasion technology isn't so good after Location all. Location confirmed. Locked oh. on for physical and give them everything you got. Has the Loader King Target ever over. failed to kill someone in one punch or one That's melee swing hard. when it's when it's had the chance? Hostile eliminated. I don't think it has. Yes, Commander. Full speed. No it's disgustingly potent. Okay, he's uh on it. He's also XL engine, so let's take the side. Ready, Commander. I'm here. I'm here. I ain't every bug on the way. There were many. All right, full speed. Let's go destroy the Fire Starter Omni's side torso. 
10 HP left. Ready, Commander. Standing by. Going full throttle. 10 HP before that, uh, that side, that, uh, XL engine is exposed. That shot. Ironically, the spider might last longer simply because it's not XL. Ready, Commander. Throttle up. And it's a sad day when your spider is more robust than your Firestar. Bending the At last, I see. Delta. Got something you want done? Position confirmed. Even the battle armor might get him now. Targeting for an alpha strike. One HP. I think I hit something good. Let's go. Receiving you. Again, again. All weapons are go. Let's go. Oh, I got him. One left target. That's impressive. Ready, Commander. Moving, Commander. Bending my seat. Still 10 HP. Aye, aye. Okay, I'm on it. For, for supposedly having such a high chance to hit, I am not hitting it. Good to go. Copy that. Solid connection on that one. I'm actually getting the CT way more. I'm ready. Oh, run. Alright, well, this should do it because the heavy PPC will actually. Or should actually just blow a hole straight through Got this. It, Commander. Reporting critical hit. Alright, well, the engine got crit. Commander. Man, this guy's been really lucky. He's been disgustingly lucky, but his luck is about to run out. Got it. Goodbye, engine. That's a kill. Mission successful. All right. Let's get the goodies. I don't mind getting mixed with XL engines. I'll just tear the uh, I'll tear the XL engine out. We got it's a forty five ton fire star. Forty-five ton Phoenix Hawk. The Turkey Deluxe.
This is the cicada that has the Ultra AC5, a weapon which I wouldn't mind getting a copy of. Not a lot of junk, junk items either. Two support, five energy. I mean, none of these mechs are fantastic. I don't know how to feel about a 45 ton fire starter. That feels weird. A lack of support hard points would be an issue, but you can attack with most weapons in melee, so I guess it's not a problem. I'll take the Phoenix Hawk pieces, why not? I would not mind having a high grade Phoenix Hawk. Although jumping is hugely nerfed by the fact that you can't melee while jumping and that melee is so potent. But it comes with the large pulse. Maybe you can fit a couple of large pulses in it and use it as a kind of long range sniper. Large pulse is not unreasonable in this mod. Since it's accurate. Let's get here in the bay and stand it up and see what it looks like. Fire starter was that I had unlocked. That neck you asked for is cleared for fighting. Oh man, it's got ferro and endo. That's nice. Why would you run mask but also run jump jets at the same time? There's no synergy there. This is the light XL engine, but it doesn't. doesn't necessarily make your mech any safer. This would be really good on an actual dedicated melee mech. For sure. But not the Phoenix Hawk, because the Phoenix Hawk is a jumper. It's not it's not a runner, it's a jumper, so I don't get it. Can I downgrade the engine without losing the jump jets? No. Oh, 
this is double heatsink as well. This has got all the nice things. Hundred melee damage. It's kind of funny. I find myself leaning very heavily on medium laser boats. rearrange these a little bit. So my top of the line mech is the Loader King. Simply because of the sheer damage it does. Then we're gonna have this state-of-the-art Phoenix Hawk. A Firestarter Type Q and the Raven 4L. All of these enjoy double heat sink technology. Well, not the Loader King. I mean, the Loader King is just a weird. It's a weird thing in its own right. Single heat sink, single heat sinks. Okay, so this is the next high tech thing that I have, which is also double heat synced. Apparently, this has still got a busted con cockpit, which is oh. weird. I'll let you know when that's done. Then we have this, which is also double heat synced endode. Holding on to my one and only binary PPC. Yeah, so if I'm going to stand down some mechs, it's going to be these three. This one because it's too light. Even though it's, uh, even though it's, uh, Ferro and Endo. This one has got nothing special going on for it at all. It is a deeply average mech. And same for this. In fact, these two could probably be stood down. And something better built from... From storage. Endo steel. Probably build another type Q. As that's double that's double heatsink uh, XL. I can't remember if that also comes with Endo in it. Or No it doesn't. It doesn't have any structure upgrades, but it does come with double heat sinks, which is probably the nicest thing that you can get.
man, it's not even expensive to add. Although I don't have many, uh, don't have many copies. Okay, that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time.